I'm Eddie Evans, and today is October 17th, 2024. We're waiting for the big election day, and I don't think it's going to go well. I don't think it's going to go well for science, but be that as it may, let me read an article from CNN. Breaking news. The system that moves water around the Earth is off balance for the first time in human history. And here we are in the face of a climate denier in the White House. Let me continue. Humanity has thrown the global water cycle off balance for the first time in human history, fueling a growing water disaster that will wreak havoc on economies, food production, and lives, according to a landmark new report. Decades of destructive land use and water mismanagement have collided with the humans caused climate crisis to put unprecedented stress on global warming cycles, said the report published Wednesday by the Global Commission on the Economics of Water, a group of international leaders and experts. I'm going to skip down here to uh, disruptions to the water cycle are already causing suffering. Nearly 3 billion people face water scarcity. Crops are shrinking, shriveling, and cities are sinking as the groundwater beneath them dries out. If you're in Arizona, you know what I'm talking about. The consequences will be even more catastrophic without urgent action. The water crisis threatens more than 50% of food production and risks shaving an average of 8% off countries' GDPs by 2050. The much higher losses of up to 15% projected in low-income countries, the report said. I'm going to skip down a little farther towards the end. The crisis is made more urgent by the huge need for water. The report calculates that on average, people need a maximum, no, a minimum of about 4,000 liters, just over 1,000 gallons a day to lead a dignified life. For above the 50 to 100 liters, the United Nations says is needed for basic needs. And more than most regions will be able to provide from local sources. I'm lucky where I'm at. I have a water well, but I think a lot about what happens when it goes dry. What am I going to do? City's not going to give me any more. Stores aren't going to give me any more. There won't be any water. But at my age, I guess that's uh, not really a concern. But it's a concern for you if you're under 40 years old. Let me go on to the report's author, who says that world governments must recognize the water cycle as a, quote, common good, unquote, and addresses it collectively. Countries are dependent on each other, not only through lakes and rivers that span borders, but also because of water in the atmosphere, which can travel, travel huge distances, meaning decisions made in one country can disrupt rainfall in another. That's an important point, too. This, this is dispersive climate damage, I call it. And I, I started using the term dispersive um, from this book. It's found in this book by Stephen Gardner, A Perfect Moral Storm, The Ethical Tragedy of Climate Change. He talks about the dispersive nature of uh, global warming caused by fossil fuels. Just because the United States burns more fossil fuels than most other countries, we don't feel the pain here as other countries do because it disperses itself everywhere. It's like nuclear waste, you know. Uh, when uh, Fukushima ended up in the Pacific Ocean, the, the, the nuclear waste dispersed <laughs> and uh, democratize the ocean with Fukushima radioactive waste. Likewise in uh, Chernobyl, uh, when, when, the, when the power plant went up in the air, that, that uh, radioactive waste found its way over part of Europe. So these are dispersive environmental problems. And uh, abusing water disperses the consequences of abusing water. Anyhow, I'll go on my way. The article is uh, on CNN. 
The system that moves water around the earth is off balance for the first time in human history. I'll probably be following this up with other articles that deal with water, climate, and heat uh, real soon. Goodbye.